So I'm about to go to sleep, and I see this article. On Hillary Clinton's website, I see that. I hear about that, so I go check it out, right? This is how, why? Oh, and, and apparently, yeah, the guy who, the guy who did that, all right? This is the guy. The guy who, he trolled them. He sent Hillary Clinton's website. A, a picture, like, a Pepe. A Pepe picture. Pepe, you know, the troll, Pepe. And apparently, somehow, Pepe, <laughs> this, is, this is how stupid the 2016 election is. Apparently, Pepe is now being spoken of. <laughs> being used as a symbol of white supremacy at, by Hillary as a weapon against Donald Trump in the 2016 election. Can we just. Pepe. Like, a frog. Like, yeah. Like this guy. See him right here? That guy, Pepe. Look at him. You read this picture right here? And look right here. Right in that to Donald Trump. See, look, it's like, it's... Why is there a frog standing right behind Donald, directly behind Trump? That's Pepe. He deceived us. He's a symbol associated with white supremacy. <laughs> oh my god. If you don't live in America, let me give you it. An example of how crazy it is. Um, internet meme and is now involved in the election, in our election for our political leader. The leader of our country, the, the election aside, the leader of our country is now involved with a meme. A meme. An internet meme. Like Pepe. Pepe. Like, Pepe, the meme has been around for like, I, I'm blown away right now. Seriously, what the hell is this bullcrap? Okay, let's see. So this is the guy that trolled them. I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but I actually want to go to sleep. It's getting late. It's like 10:51 at night. But I mean, what the hell? This is the This is my, so he has a tweet. Name: Hillary Clinton described at Jar T X West as a prominent white suppress prominent white supremacist. His response is, I'm literally none of these things. I'm actually Jewish, by the way. <laughs> and I, I look at these, look. oh, wait, are you ready? Are you ready to get in this? Good. Are you, look at this, I've made a huge mistake. Am I hallucinating, or did you just troll your way into the election? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I know, I really, I know I shouldn't be laughing, but it's, it isn't a joke. I had no idea how this wing wing, how this parody account got so big. He's even saying here, also, also a reminder that I don't have any political belief, and anything either mildly controversial I say is just really complex satire. So yeah. This guy right here, linked to his Twitter in the description, and linked to, linked to this movie in the description as well, had trolled his way, oh, let me, ah, oh, damn it, had trolled his way into the presidential election. We're talking about the election at my school, but we're all going to the open up the vote food. So, so we're talking about it. This, if, if we, if it comes up tomorrow in class, I am literally just going to say, had you guys heard about the meme that is now part of the election? Okay, I'm sorry, you live in, if you live in, you live in the U.S., honest to God, you have no idea how stupid the country is right now. You have no idea. Like, forget who you support, Trump, Hillary, what the hell ever. Forget about all that crap. A meme is now part of the election. Try to wrap your head around with that. That a meme could be a deciding factor in who a president of the United States of the United States of America is. A meme could be one of the factors that decide who wins this election now. Now, it's any meme. Pepe. 
Yeah. 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 Pepe. So, um, yeah. I know. I, I figured since this wasn't really political, it was more just... What the... <laughs> this isn't political. This is more just like a what the actual hell. Like, what is this? It's more like a... I don't know. Just a reaction. So it's that the Pepe is now... Deciding, helping decide who the president of the United States is. So yeah, I should have been a guy. I should have gone. I, I should have gone to sleep for like a half hour ago, but uh, I stayed up and after ten minutes, then I stumbled across this, and I was like, a meme is not part of the election. I cannot not make a video about this. It's I'm not taking a side. I'm not talking about my political beliefs. I'm not talking about my religious beliefs, my political beliefs. I'm just sitting here and talking. About memes and the presidential election, which is something I never thought I would ever in my life do. But I'm talking about memes playing a part in the presidential election. Okay, I got nothing else to say. This guy sure was that. Let's try to get more memes involved in this election. Let's try to get more. Okay, okay, okay. I was joking. I was joking. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I was joking. No, you, you. Bob, I was joking. Screw you. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, I like you, Bob. I have nothing against you. No, but really. Really. This is pathetic. I'm gonna end this video now. I don't know what this was. Call it a vlog. It could be vlogging about my thoughts on Pepe being part of the United States election. Tell me what you think about Pepe being part of the, new, of the United States election in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. If you're just not finding the channel, don't subscribe. Then you're never going to see a video like this again, most likely. Hopefully. If you do, I'm going to Canada.